outro stuck in Girl, what are you waiting on? Follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell notification. Hello there. Um, hi. I was not sure if I was gonna film today because it's been a trying week, um, but today is Friday and I am on my way to Aldi. I have a grocery pickup order that I need to get from BJ's as well. Oh, but for those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany and I'm a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, and mental health content by way of deep dives. So yeah, I'm about to go to Aldi um, to get some groceries for the week and then we'll figure it out from there. Um, I am not getting a Hello Fresh box um, meal weekly anymore because they was getting expensive. So I had to plug in a new email address so I could start getting... <laughs> those discounted prices again because my grocery budget was looking a little wild it's, it's been in the negatives since like the beginning of the month but anywho I'm on my way to Aldi I have a little bit of positive energy in my bones right now so I'm going to use it while I got it because who knows when my little negative feelings are going to come back okay just keeping it real with y'all um, so I'll check in with y'all when we get to the store and quiet in the store today that's what my spirit needed so let me show you what i got so far these bars are so cheap it's insane it's only a dollar 29 130 calories i've talked about them before i like these bars as an alternative to dessert i have been going through some hard times and i've been eating a lot of cakes and cookies and shit but this is a good replacement if i want to eat something slightly healthy and i only say slightly healthy because it has a little bit of fiber in it so it's not too too bad and then I don't feel like thinking for my prep this week, so I'm going to do the same breakfast prep that I did last week, which is um, homemade Chick-fil-A. Uh, I put it on. Oh, I did have some English muffins because I went to some other store and grabbed the English muffins, but I'm going to use this bread this time, um, and I'm just going to do the homemade Chick-fil-A breakfast. I made the sauce and everything from scratch. Ooh, yummy. Look at this. I wonder if it's comparable to um, Simply Lemonade. I might get it. Look at the ingredients list. Hmm, that's not bad at all. You know what? I'm gonna get two of these. One for me, one for Bay. We could test it out. Oh, look at these cute little cans. $8.99, $2468. So $2 and some change each. So like $2.25 per can, 12 ounces and this is usually 16 ounces, so it's still about the same price. Those cans are too cute. Perfect for like a little picnic, right? Ooh la la. Polynesian sweet and spicy hot sauce. And then a spicy garlic. This label is messed up on this one. Here, look at this one. Ooh, wow, y'all. Oh, here's another one. Oh no, it's the same one. It just looks darker. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. And then they brought back these, which are Trader Joe's dupes, because Trader Joe's has these um, little sparkling juices, watermelon, cucumber, melon, and then regular watermelon. Oh, and then watermelon with pomegranate acai for $3.79. So a dollar something per can, super cute, but I don't do flavored water drinks, not my cup of tea. Oh, it says sparkling juice. This might be the bougie shit that I need in my life right now. Hmm. I am going to grab some of this lunch meat because I have been craving a panini and I still have some sourdough bread left that I bought from Trader Joe's. I think, I mean, not Trader Joe's, from Aldi. I think like last week or something. So I did a panini with this chicken breast and then some sauteed mushrooms and onions last time and cheese and it was really good. Okay, hold on y'all. All right, so they don't have any here, but remember I told you that I heard that this chicken was good, so I bought it? I ain't even gonna hold you. That chicken is crack, okay? If you don't wanna pay for Chick-fil-A or you're trying to boycott them because you know that they don't support LGBTQ, get you that red bag chicken. But they also have nuggets. So if 
that is a red bag and this is a red bag and this is $3.99 for 29 ounces and this is $7.99 for a whole filet. Um, y'all might want to start buying y'all kids this or yourself if you need a little snack. If I had some room in my freezer, I would go ahead and buy it, but I'm going to get this next time to see if it tastes like the, um, like the full fillets because them fillets are good. I mean, I guess this is probably good though. The chickpea curry non panadas, non panadas, like an empanada, but non, that's probably good. Let's look at it. four pieces for a serving not bad at all actually i mean the ingredients list as is as expected but i'm surprised that it has mozzarella cheese on it why would they do that <laughs> but it's probably good though and it's 4.99 4.48 let's see interesting for the people who like to eat raw cookie dough serving size two tablespoons why would they just not say the number of pieces that's your serving size that's weird and then they got coffee flavor ice cream too look what is on sale now and didn't this just come out like two weeks ago y'all like and it's already almost half price they still have this stuff look i guess ain't nobody want this stuff or it's just so huge that they're trying to get rid of it and then the ceramic canisters are on sale. And then this looks like it's $9.99. This is really nice and this color is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Silicone baking mat, yes, that's gone. Color dipped. So this is $4.99. This is nice. I heard that some of the, okay, hold on. I heard that some of these boards, I think, have the, these ridges in it to catch the juice, you know, the blood and stuff, so it doesn't drip all over your counters. That's really nice, actually. Hold on now, because I think I might see some sale candles. Nah, they regular price. These are the same ones. I got all hype because I saw the red tag so i was thinking that these were on sale this is the one that made me happy last time that i um saw it but i really just want to get it when it's on sale since i know the sale schedule now oh, look at this they done brought these back as re diffusers child mm -mm. mark them down mark them down we have a spiralizer child i brought a handheld one a long time ago Whew. tears my arms up Ooh, now this I could actually use. Oh, let me take this out the box. All right, let's see. There are people in this aisle, FYI. Oh, so cute. Oh, yeah, Aldi. I think you got me with this one because I had actually been wanting one of these but how does it stay in? Oh, there we go. Oh, I am buying this. Girl, can't you see me now I'm drizzling my little skinny? Now, let me tell you something though. Your olive oil is in a dark colored bottle for a reason. So please do not put your olive oil in these clear glass bottles. It is in your dark colored bottles for a reason. If your olive oil came in a clear bottle, it's likely a cheap olive oil. So I will just be using this for like vinegars and then like canola oil, stuff like that. Um, and I really only use, um, not canola oil, some high quality like vegetable type of oil that I bought. But yeah, these are cute. I'm buying it. And it looks like they have different colors. So this blue one, the gray one that I have, and then purple. Ooh, they got the other thing that I wanted. Oh my goodness, it is a candle pedestal for $12.99 and I actually have this type of green marble in my home. I might buy two, y'all. And if I can't find anywhere to put it, then I'll just return it. But they have this green one. This one almost looks black. Is it black? I don't know, y'all. I think it is black. Or blue, something like that. And then they got this white one. 
these are amazing super heavy nice i don't know if it's real marble but the heaviness is given real marble so yes i will be buying two they also have diffusers so if you like diffusers come and grab you one this looks like the ones that i always see the instagram people um not instagram the youtube people have a brand called vitruvi and i think those run for like a hundred dollars but the shape of it reminds me of the vitruvi one so if you prefer diffusers over candles for health purposes oh look they have a green one too that's very pretty then you could come and grab it for 14.99 Child, they got a carpet cleaner in here for a hundred dollars. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Carry-all container. Child, because I do be bringing um salads to the family functions now, but that's not cute. I be putting mine in a um in a, in a glass Pyrex pan that comes with the plastic lid. And then they got these if you're trying to organize your pantry. Very, very cute for $18.99, which is a really good price. And then you don't have to search for matches like if you're at Home Goods or Marshalls or anything. It's the culture for me. Come on, culture. Serve your little bow buns and whatnot. Yes. Come through. Oh, hold on now. Oh, they copied Caraway. This is cute. Look at this color. Cause you can even tell by the font that they're copying care away. Ooh. Now my question is, where is this one? Cause that's what I want. I don't need this saucepan. I want this one. Where is it? Where, where is that? And I love the gold handles on this this is everything if you need it run to aldi and grab it it is $18.99 this is also a very cute um housewarming gift as well i ain't even gonna hold y'all they got some really cute stuff in here look at this hammered glass carafe carafe however you say it so freaking cute and then they got the matching glasses if you are into hosting at your home, like all of this stuff is cute for like when you do your big salad bowl with your guests over or, you know, for regular cooking and whatnot. They have a spoon rest, coaster sets. I don't know what that lid goes to. And then they got these canisters. Like, come on, for $14.99? Yes. I don't even remember this coming out. I really don't. A lightweight Dutch oven? Interesting. Cast iron too? Hey, it's probably good quality. All right, now let's review while I wait in this BJ's gas line. I don't know what this man doing. He directing the gas line. Where am I supposed to go, sir? Where am I supposed to go? Hold on, y'all. He got me cutting in front. He better be glad I know how to drive. Cause these other people can't and now i gotta cut through all right where you want me to go sir oh right here okay he made a way out of nowhere like the good lord but anywho um what i think is worth it from aldi prior to me using it the oil and vinegar dispenser and I might actually use one of those dispensers for my homemade salad dressings because I always have a homemade salad dressing and I keep it in an old liquor bottle. But the liquor bottle has like the, the what's that thing called? The closure that just go like that. And it's like a little suction lid, whatever it is. It's an old liquor bottle. Um, but I use, sometimes I like to have more than one type of dressing on hand. So I'm probably going to use one for dressing and then one for the oil that I was telling y'all about. Those bottles, I've literally been looking for the perfect bottle and I had never been able to find one that I thought was cute enough because they all be ugly when you look online. So that was perfect. I probably should have bought two just in case. Mm, I don't know. And then um, the candle pedestals, I bought three 
two green two white they did have the black marble and then they i saw one that was like a black and white mix so i bought three not because i plan on keeping three but just in case um if i can't find out where i want to put it in my house then i'm just going to return them there's no point in having them and also i wanted to buy three because i feel like those are going to get marked down like they're not going to get bought up a lot so if they get marked down really quick then i'm gonna give me a price adjustment boom um so yeah from all the extra things that i bought this week those top two baby top two i knew that the candle pedestals were coming out but i did not know about the oil um dispenser bottles so i'm excited about that so until next time i'll catch y'all in the next video bye oh it is also my youtube anniversary i have been on youtube for an entire year posting consistently for an entire year so now with that i say bye thank y'all for being here i truly truly appreciate it there's been a lot of hard work a lot of hours it's been a lot but i'm still here okay for real time third time's a charm